Google hasn't come out with anything really cool that's new anymore. I mean, all their repositories are just boring. Wait, what's that? Gallery. A gallery that showcases on device ML Gen AI use cases and allows people to try and use models locally? We gotta check this out. Editing Noam here. So just 93.5% of you guys are not subscribed of the people who are watching. So definitely make sure to like and subscribe the video if you're enjoying these AI content and news videos. Back to the Google AI app. So Google quietly is launching this Android app that lets you run Hugging Face AI models, GPT, Vision, and code tools completely offline directly. No cloud, no API key, and no one's talking about it. So these are the features that this app is marketing to us. So experience the magic of Gen AI without an internet connection. All processing happens directly on your device. So I think that's obviously the huge advantage of this, not being able to use a Gen AI model because I don't have good Wi-Fi connection. It's always a huge barrier. Easily switch between different models from Hugging Face and compare their performance. Upload an image and ask questions about it. So that's what GPT can do. Get description, solve problems, or identify prod objects. So we would be able to compare the performance of different models and how they answer the same question. Summarize, rewrite, generate code, or use freeform prompts to explore single-turn LLM use cases. Reg these are regular AI chat features, real-time benchmarks, decode speed, latency. This is huge for research. Test your local lightrt.task models so we can build our own LLMs here and quick links to model cards and source code. Wow, and the API APK is already available. And there's a project wiki. Wow, let's look at the project wiki here. So there's a full user guide. Seems like it's pretty detailed. Wow, legit. Navigating the app. Okay, this doesn't look fully fleshed out, but it looks really good so far. Um, this is all super new. I mean, it's being edited in the last few weeks. Starting with the overview screen, the Google AI Edge Gallery has three options or three use cases. Ask Image, Prompt, Lab, and AI Chat, and those three are going to be explained in other wireframes. But you see here in the middle wireframe, it says that we can access diff different prompt lab models, and also we can download and try individual models. And we have API and documentation for each model with example code. And then within the model configs on the app, we can change parameters from max tokens to whether we want to use CPU or GPU acceleration or the temperature, which is how creative the model might be. So this is all fascinating and groundbreaking features for an Android and future iOS app. Here we have a demonstration of the ask image use case where someone's asking a math problem how to solve for X and the app using a Gemini model is answering the question and giving the user instructions on how to factor. And then another application of the ask image part of the app is asking given a receipt image how much certain items were on a menu. Here we see the feature prompt lab which demonstrates how someone could benchmark different AI models by comparing their responses, whether it be summarizing text or asking for a certain amount of code or rewriting the tone of some email. We can benchmark different models and their responses and compare them. And then lastly, the same features that we might have in a tool like ChatGPT or any of Anthropic's Claude models or the Llama models, a basic AI chat feature. And what I really like about this app is it also gives you stats at the bottom. So if we zoom in here, we can see. So let's quickly explain what these stats mean. So first token, this is the time from when you send your request to when the model produces the very first piece of text. Think of it as the wait for the first word timer. Prefill speed, this is while the model reads or encodes your entire prompt before answering. It processes an input at X tokens per second. In other words, it's scanning and interpreting your prompt at that rate. Decode speed, once the model starts generating its reply, it's it outputs roughly X tokens every second. And then finally, latency, this is the total end-to-end -end time from sending your prompt to finishing the full response. It includes the first token delay plus all processing and generation speed. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed learning more about this. Hopefully in a future video I'll download the APK and see if I can get it running on my Mac or see if I can get an Android device to try to test the APK and see how well it works. But for now, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.